Okay, everyone. So uh, this particular section, I would be covering uh, LinkedIn Helper, the tool that I have mentioned in my webinar uh, on uh, generating automatic profile visits to your uh, profile, LinkedIn profile, or even uh, automatically sending connection requests to your first, second degree connections to your third degree connections. You can do a, uh, a lot more with this tool. And, uh, you know, there is uh, auto profiling, auto visiting, auto connection sending, and then you can uh, automatically send or receive uh, endorsements. You can add signatures, you can do follow, unfollow, you can revoke uh, connection requests that you have already sent, which are not accepted. So there are so many things you can do with this tool. And I'm going to explain you one by one, step by step. But first, what you need to do is you need to click on the download and download it. As soon as you click on download button, you will uh, come up here on this section and you can click to download. Now, uh, first you need to understand the instructions. The instructions to install are provided here for Mac, for Windows, as well as for Chromebook. So you just need to do the step one and step two. You can watch this video over here. So um, I have downloaded it for Mac uh, and I'm all set. And I have been using this tool for like last six months and it has been delivering uh, great results for me. So I recommend that for everyone. So once the install has completed and after you have uh, followed in the instructions, I would like to take you to my profile. This is my profile over here. And uh, the LinkedIn helper will pop up in the bottom right corner. Right over there, you see that LinkedIn drag me helper. So it's the LinkedIn helper tool. So uh, if you would like to use it, you just need to click on it. And this is how it opens, right? Now this is the part, the three little lines that you see over there. Once you click on it, it will show you all the functions that it can perform. So as you can see, profile auto visitors is the first function it can perform. So it can uh, reach out to second degree and third degree connection of yours, and it can automatically visit their profile, right? Not only it can visit the profiles, it can follow those profiles. If you would like any specific profiles uh, to be followed, for example, let us say you have an email database and you would like those customers to, uh, you know, uh, you have added those customers, you would like to follow them on LinkedIn. You can do that. You can start following them on LinkedIn automatically. This will help you with that. Now, the third function is the collect, select, invite, second and third connections. Now, what does that mean is uh, basically you can automatically start sending connection requests to second and third degree connections of yours. Automatically, it does that. I'm going to show you that function as well. Now, it can also send messages to your first connections. So if you would like uh, your first connections, you want to reach out to them. You want to send messages uh, related to, let's say, your product introduction, the funnel that we talked about. You want to kickstart the funnel. You want to offer some free offers, discounts, or some course, or introductory uh, products that you would like to showcase. For that, you would like to reach to your first degree connections. You can use this particular option, okay? You can also message the recently added connections. So it is always a good gesture. So if you are adding new connections, don't leave, leave it blank over there. You just send out a message and this tool can automatically do it for you. And uh, through that message, you can introduce a uh, product, you can make offer and you can kickstart your funnel and you can start generating those inquiries out of it. You can email to second and third degree contacts. Now email is a paid function. So you would have to have a premium account for it. Uh, but uh, through that, uh, you can message it directly from here. In mail, what does it mean is you can without connecting uh, to your second degree and third degree connections directly send in uh, email through LinkedIn. That's what in mail means. Yeah. So messages, you can only send it to your first degree connections. In mail is the message that you can send to the second degree and third degree connections without actually connecting with them. You can endorse your contacts. Profile extractor is another function of it where it can uh, extract all the profiles from LinkedIn as a CSV file with all the contact details also. You can extract company details in CSV. That's another function. My signature is basically you can create a signature and uh, embed it into this tool. And anytime you are sending any message to first degree, second degree, or third degree connections, you uh, the the 
signature will be added to it automatically yeah you can uh, do group inviters so you can join actually groups and you can invite people over there that's another uh, function it has pretty good function connection removers so if you have sent it a uh, connection request to 100 200 300 500 or 1000 people and they have not accepted it in the last 6 months then you would like to revoke those access right so it, it increases your chances to send more connection request and uh, also you should not be punished by uh, linkedin for this so linkedin punishes all the profiles where the connection request has been sent above 1000 and they have been lying there without being accepted for the last 3 months so linkedin uh, algorithm punishes th those profiles and it uh, reduces your uh, profile visibility it reduces your post reach and all those uh, punishments are slapped on your profile yeah so my invite canceller is that function so there are a couple of others you can manage your account you can manage your license if you have bought the uh, premium version so these are uh, some pretty good functions over there uh, that you can use i'm going to go to the most important functions that sales people and entrepreneurs use uh, for lead generation that we are discussing in this webinar so one is the profile visit so how do you use uh, profile visits let me show it to you so first you have to click on profile visits now the function is very easy first uh, what you have to do is you have to give this tool the profiles that you would like to visit that is the step one so what you need to do is you need to go in your search bar over here and click on people and tell the tool that i would like to follow these particular profiles now you have to put filters and give that profiles to the tool it's a very uh, easy 30 seconds uh, task that you would have to do so for example i would like to visit my second degree connections i would like to target india indian subcontinent if you want to add some companies you can add it here i can say i'm right now targeting it companies yeah you can say a designation also right you can see services what kind of services do they offer uh, let's say i select marketing just for an example sake i don't want to spend much time on it and i say okay i would like to extract these profiles so as soon as you hit the search button uh, linkedin will pull out those profiles to you now there are right now the profiles are listed here there are about uh, 500 odd uh, profiles that i have pulled out now what i need to do is first i need to tell the tool okay the profiles are ready can you just import these profiles into the tool that's just an easy way to explain so it will start collecting those uh, profiles for auto visits so here it is i'll show you an example as soon as i said the tool has started uh, reading all the profiles and it has started already collecting you can see the number uh, getting changed over here over here so right now 20 profiles have been read so right now it's just importing those profiles uh, building that intelligence to visit those profiles right now it's not actually visiting it okay now this is just for the example sake so i would like to stop here all right you can now uh, view the collected uh, profiles and if you would like to exclude any you can exclude it here this is the option uh, for that now once you are satisfied that all the profiles that has been imported by the tool and uh, you're ready to visit all of them automatically you just need to go to the visit ta uh, tab here and once you uh, click on visit you have the option to start profiles auto visits now before you hit on that you need to make some more changes to the settings first of all how many uh, visits you would like to make per day now if you have a free account not a premium account i would suggest stick to not more than 50 stick not more than 50 otherwise linkedin algorithm uh, would not like it and uh, it may uh, restrict uh, put some restrictions on your profile so uh, that is safe limit 50 is a very safe limit for free uh, profiles and for premium profiles 100 is the safe limit so please don't go beyond 100 uh, that's in a day now i'm talking about per day 50 per day for free uh, profiles and for premium profiles it's 100 per day is good enough now the second option is the hours between the periods so like uh, if you have uh, said to the tool that i would like to visit 50 profiles today so once the 50 profiles are done what is the time gap you would like to give there 12 hours 24 hours 24 hours is the safe limit so please stick to that now here is how many times each profile should be visited 
So you can tell only visit it one time or two times or three times. The best one is three times. So what happens is if uh, you visit uh, a profile first time and they may not come back to your profile and it will not kickstart your funnel. So what it, uh, the tool will do, it will do a, a visit the second time and then the third time also. So it increases the chances of people coming back to your profile. All right. Now there is timeout settings also. Timeout settings uh, are of two types. One is the fast timeout. One is the safe timeout. Fast timeout is basically it's the time uh, between uh, you know the gap between each profile visit. So if I have told my tool that 50 visit has to be done today, it will start visiting those profiles. It will visit the first profile. Then what what is the time gap that you would like to give in the uh, between the first profile visit and the second profile visit? Is it 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, or 50 seconds, or more than that? You can decide on it. Now what is best is reset to the same. Uh, safe timeouts. Now these are the best settings. Reset to the same uh, safe timeout. Reset to the fast timeouts. It's very fast, but it's like uh, it can give a hint to the LinkedIn alg algorithm uh, that automation is happening. But safe timeout is the uh, human behavior. The tool showcase the human behavior. So it will take random times and uh, go and make those profile visits. And time between the uh, uh, two profile visits will be automatically selected and it can vary between 30 seconds to like 600 settings. The process will be slow. So uh, 50 profile, if you have set to visit in a day, it might take uh, with fast timeouts, it might take only one hour to visit those or two hours to visit do, uh, those 50 profiles. But with the safe timeouts, it might take four, five, six hours also. But it's worth it. Uh, this is the safe limits. It is recommended. And once you have done it, uh, just click on save. Okay. And then you can do uh, start profile auto visiting and it will uh, start automatically start uh, visiting those profiles. So as you can see there, uh, it has started visiting automatically. I'm not doing anything. It's, it's just doing it on its own. Yeah. Where there it is. It's doing some uh, functions, clicking on multiple places. Uh, because I have uh, stick to the safe timeouts, so it's going to reflect uh, the human behavior. Uh, and it will take uh, some time to perform these tasks. So that was for the example sake. I would like to stop here and uh, stop those uh, profile visits. Now I'm going to click on these three lines again and show you the second function, which is the most important one again to send the first, second and third level of uh, connection request. Now the process again follows the same. First, you have to give uh, profiles where you would like to send connection request, what kind of profiles or people you would like to send it to. So you can choose it here. I want to go with the second one. What is the location? India, you can just uh, sel uh, select all these filters here. Yeah. And you can again uh, go and choose what kind of connections you would like to target. And once it is done, just say apply. Right now, um, I didn't choose any. So it isn't showing uh, anything. Let me do some additions. Just give me a moment. I will make um, these changes to the profile. Just to give you an example, the profile is English. All right, so I have got the profiles here uh, through the all filters. And these are the profiles that I would like to target. So I will tell the two, okay, start collecting uh, these uh, profiles and their contact details. Uh, and then uh, tool will start importing it in itself. Yeah, that's pretty much what we have uh, seen before. And once you have done that, you can view collected uh, profiles and you can exclude any profiles you would like to do that. Mostly it doesn't happen, but in case you would like to do it, you can do it. Now the second part is, what is the message you would like to send when you're sending a connection request? You can send it without a message or you can send it with a message. 
it is always recommended to include a message. It's a very nice gesture and let people know why do you want to connect with them. And when you're sending these messages, you can include the message here. Uh, you can a uh, high first name will automatically come uh, and you can just uh, mention the message here. It is always, always recommended to give a strong reason for people to accept your connection request. And uh, the best way to do is first give a sentence that how do you know the person? So what I do is I type this message. Hi, uh, I, we know each other. each other from the sales automation group. This is called the law of familiarity where you're mentioning the person. We already know each other. It builds trust, right? And then you can say, I would like the reason for connecting with the person. I would like to connect with you to receive and share sales insight. Now don't try to sell here anything. Just say, why do you want to connect? If you would like, you can uh, include uh, uh, a message here uh, in your signature, like what you do, what kind of problems do you solve so that people are more curious and interested to connect with you and maybe visit your profile. Okay. Once the message is done, that okay, the message is done, then you can go and um, select the settings again how much time you want to give how many uh, profiles uh, you want to visit all that you can select here so here it is uh, i can give invite per period i mean 50 invites you want to send or 100 invites you want to send per day that you can select here it is advised if you have a free, free profile account then uh, should not go beyond 50 that is the safe limit I would suggest rather keep it to 30. 50 is again the safe limit. If you have a premium account, then again, it's 100 is the safe limit. Please stick to that. Timeout settings are very important. Again, you have fast timeouts. That is the time between the two profile visits or two connection requests that it's going to send. It can vary between two to three seconds, which is going to be much faster. Now that could trigger an alert for a LinkedIn algorithm. You would not like to do that. So stick to the safe set timeout settings. It's going to be a little slower. So to send 30 to 40 or 50 connection requests, it might take up to five or six hours in a day. But again, it's safe. It's going to replicate the human behavior and it's pretty safe to do that. Okay. So, and then uh, once you're ready, you can just go ahead and uh, start uh, uh, profile invites and tool will automatically start sending those connection requests on behalf of you and people will start accepting it, they'll start visiting your profile, your network will grow. And once they visit your profile, your funnel is already there in the place. It will kick start uh, the inquiries. All right, uh, moving on. Uh, now there are other functions also that you can do message to first connections, message to recently added connections, but uh, I would not go into that because they pretty much follow the same standard. All right. So uh, that's about it. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can always get back to me. Thank you very much and uh, please continue with the webinar.